Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. As you guys know by now, we have the next major update coming out, so some big news pretty much every single day. Today is no different. We have the Vidar, or the Vidar, or the Vidar? I don't even know. Anyways, this is a rank 5 premium SPG, premium pack, mind you. So this will come in a premium pack that costs $50 that will be coming for the Swedish ground tech tree. And the crazy thing is, is that this is one of those 150 55 millimeter artillery piece SPGs and it is from South Korea that's right so this is a South Korean K9 SPG this is the export variant of it that served in the Norwegian army but is going into the Swedish ground tech tree a lot going on there but this is a very interesting vehicle indeed and is actually going to be one of the most modern vehicles in War Thunder once it gets released so this vehicle was developed in the mid 2000s tens so it's got some pretty damn modern equipment and uh well let's go over that now anyways as i mentioned this will have a 155 millimeter cannon being that this is an artillery piece it doesn't really have anything outside of he but this will have two he shells one being the m107 he that you know is pretty common in game and then we also have a slightly heavier slightly faster firing so higher muzzle velocity oe f3 he round which i I'm kind of interested in now I'm not entirely sure if that's some sort of a proximity fuse or whatever the case may be but that sounds like it's just a more powerful HE shell so why wouldn't you go for it so if you guys know about that shell let me know in the comments below some HE shell experts for artillery uh, I want to hear your voice some other really crazy properties of this is that it will be able to have a 10 second reload due to an assisted loading mechanism possibly less I'm not sure if that counts as an auto loader and is thus not impacted by crew but it will be around 10 seconds and it has a laser range finder and thermals which is fantastic this is a rank 5 swedish premium spg with a laser range finder and thermals and i'm guessing that being that this vehicle was developed in the mid 2010s so remember in within the last decade this probably has gen 2 gen 3 thermals which would be phenomenal again rank 5 that's ridiculously good interestingly this also has a 50 cal roof mounted hng which is fantastic and a 1000 horsepower diesel engine which will allow this to move up to 67 kilometers per hour so just based on all the specs that this thing is throwing off in the devlog I'm assuming that immediately this will be the best and possibly most fun SPG in War Thunder immediately upon release. I mean, this thing looks like it might be the fastest SPG. It'll have thermals, which I don't think any other artillery piece has in War Thunder. Correct me if I'm wrong. At least not like Gen 3, which I'm assuming this will have. Laser Rangefinder, which will make it extremely easy to use. And it's just going to be a heck of a fun time. Now, of course, this thing won't have much armor but that's to be expected but i'm really looking forward to this i mean how do you get this there are a lot of people actually in the dev blog that are kind of commenting and saying wait shouldn't this be japan but you know of course it's again a south korean vehicle exported to finland which then lands it in the swedish ground tech tree so pretty interesting thing and uh you know that's globalism if it ever existed so that said let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below i am very interested in this video vehicle i'll be releasing a review once it comes out this thing looks crazy fun so that said thanks so much and i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone